Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. So, it is kind of late to be doing an August TBR video. We're going to play seven turns like normal. Let's get on with the seven turns. Eight turns, because I got doubled right away. So I got sneakers. And when I get doubles, we get another book. So one, two. Oh, it's a star. So the star is actually this card right here. Oh. Pick an extra book. Okay. So now I have nine books. Okay, but I'm only going to take eight turns because it says mood read. Alright, let's go. Number two. Strong start. You guys, I got snake eyes again. Oh, whoops. No, I promised that it was two, though. <sighs> so now it's really nine turns. Oh my goodness. One, two. Okay, just visiting jail. So when I'm just visiting jail, it's my highest rated book on my Goodreads. TBR. The Help. Funny story. I've read The Help. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is a big book, though. Okay, so my second highest rated book is The Green Mile by Stephen King. I guess she's not that chunky, but it's The Green Mile by Stephen King. Never seen the movie. I know it's about, uh, a jail and the people that are on death row and like a relationship like a friendship between an officer and one of the inmates. Bella Boo decided to join us. She actually only decided to join us because she wants to cuddle. Because she loves to cuddle. All right. Let's take our third turn and hope we don't get doubles again. Well, I mean, whatever. It just means another book. Ah! Okay, so, let's see if you can see that. So it's three. One, two, three. So it's Toad Harbor, which is Pet Pick. And since Jelly Bean is out there with my husband, I'm going to try and do this one with Bella. I have three books on the board, and I'm hoping that Bella will turn around and pick one. Bella, look, right there. Okay, good job. All right, so Bella actually picked the book that I know least about by Agatha Christie, it's The Unexpected Guest. <laughs> so 10 turns now, because I'm not sure if you guys probably didn't see it. It's right there, but it is actually 10, which is doubles again. Landed. Right here on Electrodome, which is a book I have low expectations for. A book that I have low expectations for is Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. Uh, so I don't read vampire books anymore, uh, and I don't typically love classics, so it's a double whammy. So it's six. Okay, so that's not that bad. So it's Bone Dry Dunes, which is a short book. And for me, a short book is anything under 250 pages. Okay, so for Bone Dry Dunes, it's a short book. So this 
book is a whopping 227 pages. So it definitely fits for a short book. It is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Round number five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And this one is nine. You can't see that. So you can see. That's nine. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we landed on the cube, uh, which is an out of comfort zone read. I don't read a lot of supernatural, paranormal, ghosty stories. Not that I don't like them. It's just that I don't typically go for them right away. But for the summer ween, Readathon that Gabby reads is hosting. Uh, I am reading a haunted book called Asylum by Madeline Ropes. All right, so we're on turn number six. Let's do this like right there. Okay, so we have 11 turns now because we got doubles again. Ended on another star. Oh no, I think I know what this one is. Add a book from all five unread shelves, but only count it as one book. Okay, so I really don't know why I do this to myself because I picked some really big books for this. I know, it doesn't really make much sense. So. The first, right now my books are categorized classics, fantasy, sci-fi, because I don't read a lot of either of these. Then there's contemporary, thriller, mystery, and then horror on the bottom. The first one is a classic, and I've been, one of my goals was to read more classics this year. And I've been doing pretty well, but I want to read more. So, this one's chunky. I'm sure I can find it on audio, though. I'm counting on it, or else we're in trouble. But that is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Okay, and then this is the second shelf right here that you guys can see. It's half sci-fi, half fantasy, because I don't read much of either of those, so I just meshed them together. And for that one, I tried to find the shortest book I could. I am going with Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, so this is the first in a series of five books. And there's really, I've heard that there's really good dyslexia rep in this. Which, as a future teacher, that just sings to me, sings to my heart, because I never get a dyslexia rep, and I would love to educate myself more on dyslexia and dysphoria. I think that's the one where you're, where you compose numbers in math. A lot of people think that dysphoria is dyslexia of math, but they're kind of different, and I know that much. And I know what dyslexia is, but I just love seeing it in books. And I love mythology, so I don't know why I've never read this, because uh, I hear that there's a lot of mythology in this one. The contemporary shelf, which is right here, I need to kind of clean it actually, but it's okay. Uh, this one is a middle grade contemporary, is Wonder by R.J. Palazzo. I'm very sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, but this has to do with Augie, a boy who has like a dysphoria 
scorned face. It says, don't judge a book by its cover. And then a book is crossed out. And it says, don't judge a boy by his face. Uh, I took a children's literature class last year. And this was one of the options, but I ended up not getting it. I, I ended up getting Mockingbird which is about Caitlin, this girl who has autism. And autism is very close to my heart. My little brother has autism. So I really wanted to learn more about autism, but this one really caught my attention too. And here we are. And I think, well, I'm kind of cheating, but I don't think so because I am reading this this month. I'm already halfway through. And I love it. But for my thriller, I picked Those Girls by Chevy Stevens. I've never read anything by Chevy Stevens before, but I am freaking loving this book. Um, it's very graphic. Trigger warnings for almost everything. And I'm only halfway through. But it was... It's definitely a page turner. Like, I don't want to put it down. I didn't want to put it down to film, but I definitely want to get this filmed and up so that I actually have a TBR rather than just mood reading. Okay, and then the last one is from my horror shelf. I don't know how to pronounce that. Nosferata? Nosferata? Tell me in the comments below. Uh, but it's by Joe Hill. I don't know a whole ton about this other than it follows this guy named Charles who kidnaps kids and takes them to this amusement park uh, that he calls Christmas Land. And from there, I have no idea what goes on. On turn number 7 of 11 because I got doubles again. I only picked 6. Of 11. Alright, we got this. So it's 7. Electrodome again! Which is a low expectation. There is a time when I was really, really excited for this book. Uh, but I haven't read any dystopians this year that I really love, so I kind of lost faith in all dystopians, which I know is not fair, but what are you going to do? So this is a middle grade dystopian called Mayfly, futuristic thriller that pits teens against teens. I'm immediately thinking Hunger Games for 8 of 11. So that is four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's Cloud Top Cruise, which is a big book. All right. So a big book for me is anything over 500 pages, and it's got to be over 500. What do you guys think? So. Oh yeah, it is the biggest book that I'm reading this month at a whopping 852 pages. So this is The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Ahn. This is all three books. That's why it's so freaking big. But you know what? We're doing 2021 goals early. Because I haven't really talked about it much, but I want to read more series. I want to read one big book a month, but, you know, why not? Let's just do five of them. And counting. Uh, so, yeah. The Summer I Turned Pretty. I don't know much about it. Just a uh, number nine of eleven. Alright. That's what I rolled. 
It is unknowing. All right, so we landed on the brown arrows, which are, which is a randomly generated book. They use my phone to get a random number. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna do one to five and whatever shelf it lands on. And then I'll do one to 30 because each shelf has about 30. Contemporary and thriller have more, but I wanna average it off at 30. So let's see, random number generator. One. Okay, one, two, five. Generate that. What is it? It's a two. So one, two. Okay, so it's going to be a sci fi or a fantasy. That one only has 13 books. Not counting, like, the second or third in the series that I haven't even started because that's not really fair. So we're going to do 1, 2, 13 and generate. 9, The Becoming of Noah Shaw, and of 11. Got this. 10 of 12. Oh my gosh, guys. This game is just beating me up because I'm going back to school. So it's like, oh yeah, you're going to do a, like a ton of reading between school and work. So, you know, why not? Okay, so I'm just visiting jail, which is my highest rated on my Goodreads TBR, which was actually the Green Mile. Okay, Wonder. But Wonder's already on my TBR. So should I count Wonder for this? No, that would be cheating. Okay, then... Okay, I almost picked this one for myself because it's a big book, but it's a graphic novel, so I'm reading it. I'm on book, like, number three, and there's, like, 48 of them in this big bind-up. So, The Walking Dead, Condemnium... Compendium 1. I can't say that word. Two rules left. Alright, so this is 7. Here we go. 7. Shy Guy Falls. So Shy Guy Falls is a male author. Okay, so we got Shy Guy Falls, which is a male author. For that, I'm picking Uglies by Scott Westerfield. This is the first in yet another series. I don't know why I'm reading so many series. That's so unlike me. Uh, but this one has appealed to me for a very long time, and I'm actually surprised I haven't read it yet. But it's basically about this world in which there's one standard of beauty and every person has to go through an operation to look just like the other pretty in society at the age of 16 and uh it just sounds so it's like another dystopian which is weird because i really haven't liked any dystopians but i'm i'm trying here Audiobooks are going to be my best friend this month. I'm telling you guys right now. Alright. It's the last roll. Unless I go to jail. Which is right here. Or get doubles again. Please no. <laughs> but watch. I get the star prompt and it says grab 10 books. Actually, I don't think there's one. I think this is the only one. Knock on wood. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully, our last turn. Our last turn. So, let's go here. 
you can't even see that. Okay, but it's six. All right, so it is Electrodome again. Closing out with 17 books over 12 turns. Uh, because I also have to pick, wait, if I had 12 turns, so these would be my 12, yeah, because then it'd be 4 extra plus 5 extra. So that's right. Sorry. Um, because I have to incorporate an extra mood read somewhere, which I'm not going to lie to you, it's probably going to be one of my readathon books. Because if you count my readathon books, then there's 19 books in this month when I start school. And I'm working. And I'm like full time editing for this channel and my other channel, Bucket List Adventures, which you should go check out. We travel, we do funny challenges, we have these eating competitions that like I completely regret later but it's totally worth it because usually they're hilarious and when I say we I mean me and my husband we're hilarious together so you should really go check it out I'll link it up here uh, but to end our bookopoly of madness that's what I'm gonna call it bookopoly of madness I landed on electrodome which is a low expectations book. So I've seen this movie a couple of times and the first time I saw the movie I really wanted to read the book and now it's been sitting on my shelf for a long time and I recently watched Nerve again and I didn't love it you know it was like kind of mediocre at best so I'm hoping the book is better but I don't really think it will be so I'm picking Nerve by G.N. Ryan. To survive this game, choosing dare is your only option. Usually I love books about like truth or dare or with a game aspect. Uh, usually those are my favorite, but I just saw the movie and it was really, really boring. So I hope the book is better. In most cases, it is. I'm not going to go through all the books again, because that's just way too many. I am going to try and do a thumbnail where I carry them all, but, you know, I don't think it's going to work. I honestly would be surprised if it doesn't fall to the ground at some point. But look at all the big books. Like, there are so many big books. Oh my gosh, you guys. This isn't even all of them yet. Oh my gosh. Okay. You can't even see my... Look, this is all my books for the month of August. Wish me luck, people. I'm gonna need it. I'm really gonna need it. If you enjoyed this video, you liked Bookopoly, and you loved seeing me get all these freaking books, don't get me wrong, I love to read. Reading is so much fun for me. But I have so much other stuff going on that my prediction is that I won't finish all these. If I do, I will be so amazed in myself. So now I have to do it just to amaze myself, right? But please like this video and comment down below which one I should start with so that I for sure get through them. I mean, besides those girls, because I'm already halfway done. 
but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. A uh, big thumbs up. And subscribe to me where we're always talking about books. Oh, and wish me luck in the comments below, guys. Bye.